this is my 1972 HQSS Holden. I bought the car in 1972, brand new from John A. Gilbert's in Annandale, Sydney, and drove it for probably around about 10 years. Um, after that, I was uh, given a company car and wasn't quite sure what to do with the old beast, so I ended up putting it up on uh, chocks and leaving it in my father's workshop for the next uh, 20 odd years. It was about uh, two or three years ago we decided to pull it out, clean the dust off it, uh, fix up the brakes and uh, the clutch and just about all the hydraulics and uh, replace the hoses and finally got the old girl back on the road. Um, haven't driven it a lot in the last couple of years but um, when we have it's certainly been fun. Um, they produced around about 1600 of these things in the first lot and I think it was a trial on behalf of General Motors to uh, see what they could do with the Belmont. Of course at that stage there was a uh, Monaro two-door uh, uh, kind of sports car but um, I think the General Motors folks wanted to see if they could create a new mark uh, with a four-door and this was it, the SS Holden. Of course the SS today lives on in uh, its current form um, and when people ask me well what do you have, uh, I say I've got a SS, they all think it's a uh, I've got a Commodore. Um, the car's absolutely original, uh, it's got around about 72,000 on the clock. Um, the only thing that I've really done as you may know if you're an officiato is I've changed the wheels. Uh, however those wheels uh, were bought in 1972 and uh, they're more or less of the era so um, pretty much original as I say. I've still got the original wheels and the original tyres for that matter. Um, I think the only other thing I've done to it um, is I've put in some driving lights and more for safety purposes. So that's about it. There, there's the old girl. Um, we've had a lot of fun in it and hopefully a few more years of fun.